Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Crow, part-time YouTuber, part-time man in complete disgust. As I read another boy coming forward who was 14 years old when Chris Tyson uh, began messaging them on Snapchat. Now, this one actually was recording and saving the messages, um, potentially because they, they saw that there was a big problem with what was being sent to them. But before I play the video, before I read through it, before we see the message that's literally telling the kid to keep it a secret, um, I have to talk about the other uh, alleged victim in all of this, which is uh, this character known as Lava. Now, I, I saw this going around social media yesterday, and I was like, listen, this is someone who was uh, allegedly groomed by Chris Tyson. And because of that, I started sharing links to this from, and I get it's on Reddit and everything, but it's actually very precise in breaking down um, the, like, the, the different levels to this stuff, uh, including why uh, a victim feels the need to protect the person that is abusing them, right? And if you don't understand this, then when you read this message from Lava, the boy that was 13 at the time, you'd probably go like, like, whoa, 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 this is all being blown out of proportion. But if if you know what what you know the actual act of grooming is, it's meant to make a child feel comfortable, like this stuff is normal, and like the person that's doing it to them is their best friend and the only one that they can really trust, right? So the fact that Lava is now 20 years old, I, I believe about 20 years old, and still feels that it's totally appropriate to be making jokes with a minor, befriending a minor, and saying things like they'll sell their nudes to said minor, Lava is broken because there's no adult who should ever think that that's appropriate appropriate or good or, or that that is a healthy relationship to have with an adult. It's it's absolutely wrong. It's absolutely disgusting. I I I I saw people sharing it. I saw lyrics commented on the situation going on. And yes, it's wrong that the way Lava got involved was um, the person known as Prism lying to them to get more access to messages, which that's on Prism. But Using this as an excuse for Chris Tyson just means that you are not prepared to talk about this subject. You do not have these basic understandings, and I'm not trying to be a complete dick about that, but if you don't, again, I will put this link into the video, so if you see other people talking about it, you can share this with them too, because it is important to understand. And on top of that, you know, we now have another boy that Chris Tyson uh, had been messaging on Snapchat, and in response, uh, Chris Tyson deleted their Snapchat seemingly last night, or at least that is what is being reported right now. What's even more interesting about this, uh, Jake Franklin, he came forward and said that Jimmy of Mr. Beast knew about this situation, knew about the things with Chris Tyson. Um, he also had said, while we're at it, Chris should tell everyone how old the girl was he was snapping that sent him his first ever pair of Gucci slides. If Jake Franklin and a former member knows about this stuff, then everybody else on the Mr. Beast crew knows about what Chris Tyson is engaging in, knows about Chris Ty Tyson messaging minors on Snapchat. That is a full stop, red line, no excuse, no excuse, no excuse at all for any of this. There are, there are now two boys we can confirm were messaging with Chris Tyson privately on Snapchat. One was starting at the age of 13. The other was 14 years old. And according to Jake, there is another minor, a female, who was also messaging with Chris Tyson. This is the exact thing that James Charles is getting his ass busted for. Now, I understand that the messages with James Charles were uh, uh, went a little bit further from what we were shown and everything, but come on, messaging minors on an app that is meant to delete your post history. It's meant to delete the images that you are sending. This app is used by people for the pure purpose of like hiding sexual relationships and such, right? Well, I'm, I'm not saying everybody uses it for that, but that's, that's one of the main uses of that app. So the fact that you have an adult who is messaging minors on Snapchat, it, 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 like Mr. Beast and his entire crew, I, I'm just going to say this, complicit 
I, 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 you, are, are you complicit if you know that your friend is messaging multiple minors on, on Snapchat and you weren't saying anything about it and at the exact same time, you're doing a show that is for kids and then you're bringing this degenerate who's messaging these kids to other events to meet more kids. Does that not make you complicit in what he is doing? I understand, I understand that they're not like holding up a gun to this guy's head and telling him he has to message the minors. I'm not saying they're that far involved. No, I'm not saying that they are doing it themselves, but if you know your friend is doing this stuff and you know that he has access to kids, what the hell is wrong with you? Why did nobody say anything? And yet, listen, I, I, I've got to say, I, I appreciate Jake Franklin coming out now, but like, why didn't Jake Franklin come out sooner? Why wasn't this exposed? way sooner. This this should have been blasted out to everybody. This is much worse than what Dr. Disrespect was rightfully canceled over. This is this is going into that James Charles territory, right? Like like the same and and in the James Charles case, like the the difference there was like the kids were lying about their ages, right? Like we we saw examples of the kids like absolutely lying about their ages. When I say kids like 17 years old, but still, but still, people were offended people were pissed off and people are like blaming James Charles for not verifying ages and I'm like I, I think you're justified in being pissed off that he's not verifying their ages but you have Chris Tyson who's knowingly messaging kids on Snapchat so so you you cannot defend that and and I was again again I was outraged yesterday when I saw people trying to hide behind Lava the, the alleged grooming victim and going like well Lava says that uh, he, he was totally okay Okay with that behavior of course he's gonna say that like i just uh, oh man all right let, let's uh let, let's let's play the video let's let's watch this because uh um th this this is another thing why the hell are you sending hearts to kids why are you calling them dad right why are you telling them to keep it a secret why is <laughs> like i'm reading these and i'm just like blown away by how freaking blatant it is now the other part of it is again chris tyson sees this and nukes his snapchat so ava chris tyson that was the old snapchat handle it's gone now okay hold on hold on. i uh, don't know if you heard about my uh water prank and how crazy it's gone but my stock is actually sold out at the moment rather than bringing it back i'm actually looking to bottle a whole bath on video into a giant tub and ship it to whoever buys it i just wanted to reach out in advance because i know this is the kind of content mr beast does just to give you what you know what, though? He's messaging kids about potential Mr. Beast. <laughs> dude, dude, Mr. Beast as a brand, you are implicated in this stuff. OK, like you, you, you might want to deny that he's your best friend. And he's been around you for years. Like and he uses your name like he got access to lava because of a Mr. Beast giveaway. I don't know how he got access to this kid. Maybe he got access to this kid going to one of the events Mr. Beast was putting on. Like, I, I, I'm, you should not be sending messages like this to a kid, especially a kid that you don't fucking know. You should not be sending a message to a kid saying, dad, winky faces with the kissy emoji. Like, dude, it's just weird. And even that secret comment, I get people are going to go like, well, he was just talking about like a potential Mr. Beast idea. He'll keep it a secret. You should never be telling a child that you are inappropriately messaging to keep secrets. Like, cause, cause that just, it's like that other additional layer on top, right? It's that other additional layer on top of it. it it's, it's disturbing. It's wrong. Nobody, nobody should be defending this stuff and everybody needs to be demanding like i mean outright demanding mr beast answer for why this stuff was being covered up by his crew because i i, I i'm gonna say outright you are never going to convince me especially with that franklin guy running around telling everybody that you had no idea about what was going on right you're not gonna be able to convince me that you had no clue about the lollycon either because you featured shad man's art in one of your videos this is to this extreme level right now and and i'm hoping and i'm being dead serious 
I am hoping that this did not go further than just inappropriate messages. I'm really hoping, but at this point, it's not going to surprise me at all, right? This is a guy who slowly built his way up to this position right? Like we, we go back to the first instance, you point to like complete degenerate behavior, sharing someone's revenge, um, which we just talked about in the uh, video earlier today. But but then you jump into the, the other stuff that's going on, right? Then you jump into like the messaging the kids. Uh, then you go into the, the liking the lollycon, which I, I'm not sure which one came first, but I imagine it's probably the lollycon and then it went to messaging kids now that he had access to them. So how, how much how much longer are you going to wait for this guy to just go one step further? Okay, we go to sharing revenge which is just degenerate behavior, right? I get it's not, uh, well, I mean, technically it's legal too, but I, I, I get it's not predatory, right? But then you go to liking the lollycon and begging Shadman, a, a known, a, a, a known, disgusting, deviant person who, who uses actual kids as models, and you're promoting that stuff, at, like you're, you're, you're shouting it out on freaking live streams, you're tweeting at the man, you're begging him to do art for you. And then we find out, hey, now you're contacting kids in private. Like, the next step from there is something everybody, like, like I don't need to explain it to anybody what the next step is, but it seems like if you give this guy another couple of years, we're going to have people, well, may, maybe not now that it's been exposed, but if it wasn't, you would have people coming forward saying that this, that they were, like, touched inappropriately and such, right? This stuff, like, it's not stopping. He's slowly building his degeneracy up to the level of criminal behavior. And I'm, I'm talking, like, predatory criminal behavior because we already talked about the, the, the first instance is technically criminal too. But, but you know, again, at the same time this stuff is happening, now we've got another victim. At the same time this stuff is happening, we're seeing like sort of an effort to keep this stuff shut down, okay? We've seen no articles as of the recording of this video, I'll do another Google search. I, I checked when I woke up this morning, it was about 6 a.m., I want to say. Um, but like, I, I, I haven't seen any articles covering this situation in spite of the fact that Mr. Beast has the largest YouTube channel and specifically his trans friend, the person who's going through these accusations, was used as like a, a, a badge of honor to the Pride community and everything, to, to all of the allies and everything. But I was so great large youtube channel has this trans guy and it's like the the, the person is a predator the person uh like likes degenerate art that uses actual kids as models this person is now caught messaging multiple minors where is the outrage where is the condemnation like seriously where is it okay dr disrespect is trending or at least, yeah, yeah trending right now he's trending because people are like where is your outrage where was your outrage like where is the outrage you had for dr disrespect now that chris tyson has another person coming forward where, where is it seriously where is it well xqc today right uh well yeah yeah today i follow mostly only influential creators here yet most have been silent about uh, uh, the Chris situation. Pretty deviant behavior across the board. Weirdo can't wait to read some of the cope justifications on why it wasn't addressed. By the way, next time I'm getting added the whole squad, stop hiding behind the noise. Yeah, where where are they? Like, I I, I think people are like pointing out Pokimane, right? Because Pokimane had this whole comment on the Dr. Disrespect thing. And they're like, Pokimane, where the hell are you? Because they don't actually care about this stuff. Like, I, I had somebody in my stream uh, yesterday um, and they were complaining that, you know, people are doing this for views. And I was saying, I think people aren't talking about it because they're afraid of getting that Sunny V2 treatment. But then I look at creators like Pokimane, who, who like, Pokimane can do whatever the hell she wants, but she keeps her mouth shut because she doesn't want to offend the trans community or their allies. She wants to be the, the, good, the good and the bestest content creator on Twitch, right? And being in adverse, uh, uh, in adverse reaction with that community is always going to be bad for your brand. So she shuts the fuck up, even though she puffed out her chest and was all big and strong on Dr. Disrespect. And it's not just her. 
There, there's multiple other large content creators who had all the fire and all the fury for, for, for Dr. Disrespect and James Charles even, right? But then this stuff is happening. We're a week into it. We have another victim uh, coming forward and they are pretending that they don't see anything. You have more people coming forward based on their messages with Chris Tyson. And Chris Tyson's response is nuke my Snapchat. If there, I, I, I was saying this before. The reason why he nuked his tweets is so that people could stop digging into his tweets. The reason why he nuked his Snapchat is so that he can stop anybody else from coming forward and saying that, hey, he was also messaging me. This is the second day that Chris Tyson's name is trending on Twitter, okay? This is the second day that Chris Tyson's name is trending. It's not going away. There's more stuff that's come out now. Nuking his tweets, nuking his Snapchat is just, it, it, it looks like he's just confirming his guilt for people because the nuke in the Snapchat, that just happened last night. And that was when the tweets started going around of, of what Chris Tyson was doing. So what is going on? Where uh, Where is the Mr. Beast crew? Why did they cover this up? You're not gonna convince anyone that you did not know because every like everything that I can look up about Chris Tyson says that this has been behavior that has been consistent with him. Okay, except it's just been progressively getting worse. Were you the frog in the pot as the water was boiling around you and now you don't realize that you're being cooked alive? Is, is that your excuse, right? Well, you know, at first it was just, you know, it was like sharing, but, but nobody cared about that. And, and then it was like, you know, it was Lollicon, but you know, that was just, you know, it, 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 no one really cared about that. And, and now it's, he's messaging minors and you're like, well, you know, that's not that much worse than, than uh, jerking off to Lollicon. So uh, it, 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 nobody cares about that. There's no excuse. There is none. I don't give a shit that this guy has a large channel on YouTube. I understand that YouTube's about to start taking very drastic steps probably to shut this conversation down because I, I want to point something out to you. Let me get it pulled up. This is uh, uh, Hypnotic. He has a YouTube account. His stream was taken down last night it, 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 and and it, it was taken down and when he appealed it, 12 minutes later, the appeal was rejected. This is, I mean, this is looks like somebody put their finger on the scale and manually rejected that, it like, like instantly rejected it because they don't like that Chris Tyson is being exposed and they don't like the conversation that's happening, probably because they think it's harmful to the trans community. Because I can't think of any other reason. Dr. Disrespect gets exposed. They were going like crazy on that guy. And none of the streams are touched. Nobody cares. He's guilty, right? But then it's it's Chris Tyson. Nobody wants to do an article, right? If, you're, if your stream does too well, like somebody at YouTube will come in and just smash you. Like, I wonder if other videos are going to start being targeted. I, I think we fly pretty far under the radar and we were very careful about the conversations that we're having too. Like I started to, you know, censor out uh, swear words and things like that just so I don't get in like additional trouble. This just looks like you're coming up and, and you're doing this. And now today, another victim comes forward. Are you going to cover that up too? Are you going to be more aggressive in shutting down this conversation? At the end of the day, Chris Tyson, who is a member of one of the largest YouTube channels, right? Who's been promoted specifically because they have come out as trans, right? Who 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 has now been caught uh, not only with the Lollicon, but messaging multiple minors on Snapchat. That is so much worse than Lollicon. Like the Lollicon is bad enough for me to condemn the guy, right? Especially because it's Shadman who uses actual children. But... But, but, but like, he's, he's, this is, this is more, this is more than just one kid where, where you could try to cope and make some argument that, you know, he just didn't understand boundaries or some stupid garbage like that. I need answers. I need accountability. I, I, I want the Mr. Beast crew to fucking do a YouTube video. And I don't want Jimmy to pull out the damn ukulele and start singing a goddamn song. Wow, since you saw my face, I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. Embarrassing, shameful, disgusting, and if there, there's not going to be any ability to cover this one up. No matter how hard you try, it's not going to shut down the conversation. This person should be banned. Their YouTube account should be terminated. They were messaging minors on Snapchat.